in the case of the Caribbean, it is not just the well-being, it is also the entire economy that depends on the, on the sea. The issue of alternative energy is, is no longer a, a question of choice. We have to do it. The issue that sets the Caribbean aside is that it consists of small island development states that show a very high degree of vulnerability. The biggest challenge facing most of our countries right now is the issue of energy cost. It is the single largest impediment to our competitiveness at a global level. We also have a very, very important scheme called the Direct Assistance Grant Scheme, which is providing direct assistance to firms and has been probably one of the most successful interventions that we've ever undertaken. For three parts we funded are Hotel Mockingbird in Jamaica, Ruth's Place in Antigua and Barbuda. The most recent has been the Mega Power Initiative. The things that we have going on environmentally right now under this particular Caribbean export grant, we were able to reinstall some panels that came down in the last hurricane. It is one of the few places that operates on a completely holistic uh, principle. In 2012, uh, Hotel Mockingbird Hill was elected as the most environmentally friendly hotel in the small hotel category. My name is Ruth Spencer. I'm from the Caribbean island of Antigua and Barbuda. I own a small guest house and I was able to get approval of the grant. I was able to get my system installed. I have people coming here wanting to see Really? Something happening? We found out about Ruth Spencer and the fact that her venture, she was able to get funding from Carbon Exports and the European Union. And so that, we felt, was a route that we could use in terms of financing the work that we're doing in Barbuda. We're sitting on the shores of the Cottonton Lagoon. It is a major wetland system which occupies up to a third of the Barbuda landmass. It means therefore that um, any rising sea level or heavy rains will actually flood two thirds of Barbuda. There were so many clouds, but in the midst of the cloud, there was light. And it just gave me that assurance that everything is gonna be okay. This grant has been a catalyst for us. Um, it's given us credibility um, from being a startup, newly launched company to people seeing the structure, um, understanding our vision. Simon and I, we become ambassadors for, for the Nissan LEAF and for electric cars. Wherever we go, we're stopped. People want to drive it, they want to ask about it, they want to see inside <laughs> the engine, you know, the motor. Um, the response, the public response has been tremendous. The launch and the, and the grant has given people a visual representation of what Megapower is and what we want to do. Um, and I think it's only a matter of time before we'll have a full network across Barbados of solar powered electric vehicle charging stations. Our dream is for Barbados to be 100% electric vehicles on the roads. And if we could transform our economy to independent economies based upon the investment in alternative energies. The future is, is limitless.